Here is everything we know about the Metal Gear Solid 3 remake that is coming out at an undisclosed time in the near future. It has just been confirmed by Sony at their convention that this game is a remake and not to be confused with the upcoming HD Collection remaster that also will be releasing Metal Gear Solid 3. To talk about the elephant in the room, Kojima will not be a part of this remake. What does that mean for the game series? This is the equivalent of your favorite Marvel or DC movie, with the same characters switching hands between directors. Does that mean it's not going to be as good of a game? That is left to be decided by the audience. My opinion is Kojima is the soul of Metal Gear Solid, and I for one am very sad he will not be a part of it. That is not going to deter me from trying out the new remake. I am actually quite excited to see what a new director will do. And Konami has not said who the director is yet. Another thing we have to be aware of is the voice cast. Unless David Hayter signed an NDA, he stated today on Twitter upcoming games he's voice acting in, and he did not put Metal Gear Solid 3 Remake as one of them. I think the fans and myself are definitely going to be bummed out that David Hayter is not involved with the project. Will it be Kiefer Sutherland again? I for one liked Kiefer's voice in Metal Gear Solid 5, but that does not mean I liked it better than David Hayter. He is much better as the voice of Solid Snake. There will be survival mechanics in the game as well as the camouflage system. My theory is that Konami is going to evolve these systems, expand them, and even make them a little funny at times. Will there be paid for skin slash camouflages? I think every single one of us will agree with me when I say I hope not, but it is Konami and they are notorious for microtransactions and leeching their audience of funds. Another thing that has not been discussed is, is there going to be a multiplayer aspect? We do know in the past with Metal Gear Online, and even to this day with emulators, people still play Metal Gear Online. It was a fantastic game, and I hope there is some sort of multiplayer element to this game. That would be fantastic. What adaptations to the story could there be? Will there be mild nudity? Will there be cheeky humor like there was back in the day? Will Revolver Ocelot growl like a cat when meeting Solid Snake? These are all questions left to be decided. The one thing you could be guaranteed is Konami is throwing all their chips in one basket with this remake. They know that they have really big shoes to fill with Kojima being gone and them taking over Kojima's masterpiece. In my opinion, Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater is one of the best. It's one of my favorite games of all time, and Konami definitely is biting off a lot with this game. Could this be a major flop? Metal Gear Solid Survive to this day is still ridiculed, but some people are coming around the corner and saying that they like it. That Metal Gear Survive was fun. There was cool mechanics to it. It was just very odd with the whole zombies, kind of, the, the monsters. I call them zombies, because that's essentially what they were. But the base building mechanics, in my opinion, were pretty unique in that game. And I don't think Metal Gear Survive was a complete flop. Was it a Metal Gear game and canon? I think not. They could have named it something completely different, as far as I'm concerned. But with this game, Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater Remake, the name is there, the emblem is there, they need to deliver with this game. He cannot fail. Konami will falter completely and lose all respectability among Metal Gear Solid fans if they flop this. I am hoping for a fully fleshed out remake and not segmented. The game is big enough and has enough story that if they wanted to pull the Square Enix route, the Squaresoft route, I go by the old school names. 
they could completely screw us over with a two-part Metal Gear Solid 3 remake. Again, I'm theory crafting here. I hope that is not the case. I don't want to wait five, ten years for the entirety of Metal Gear Solid 3 Remake like we're waiting for Final Fantasy 7 Remake. If David Hayter comes back for the voice, that alone will get fans rowled up. And definitely rowdy. Kiefer Sutherland would be a good second backup for the voice. I will be completely appalled and turned off if they get a whole new actor for the voice of Solid Snake. And I think you will too. We don't want a third actor. We don't want a third voice. We don't want someone trying to copy David Hayter. Konami needs to put their money where their mouth is, rehire David Hayter, or at the very least, secure Kiefer Sutherland as a backup. The Master Collection Volume 1 that is going to be released this autumn, 2023, will be an HD remaster of Metal Gear Solid, Metal Gear Solid 2 Sons of Liberty, and Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater. The best thing about all these games is they are not PlayStation 3 exclusives. Konami has woken up and they want to make the most money possible and they are not going to make the most money selling this on PlayStation only. PC fans want to get a piece of the cake they want to try out these games on PC with crazy graphics cards and high settings. And it would be really dumb if Konami could made these. And it would be really dumb if Konami made these PlayStation 5 exclusives. And already on the box and on the trailer, it says for Steam. So it's confirmed that the Metal Gear Solid 3 remake will come out on Steam. The question is, Will it be after release? Will PlayStation get it first for a few months? We will find all that out soon. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Does this excite you? Are you happy for the remake? Do you think it'll be a good game without Kojima leading it? I am skeptic. I, But we will see in the end. Please comment down below. Hit that thumbs up button and subscribe for more awesome content. If you want to support the channel, we have a Patreon. You can leave me a super thanks below. But the best way to help out for free is a thumbs up and share this with a buddy. Thank you for watching.